Hello everyone, I hope you're very well. If you saw the previous video with uh, Cherry Blossom air layering, uh, you notice uh, that at the beginning of the video we had those two bonsai trees over there and uh, there were these two, right? It was these two that we're going to be working on as well. I just finished working on the Cherry Blossom and I'm now I'm going to work in this little guy and in this little guy, yeah? So, uh, blue juniper, yeah, you've seen it in previous videos, and I told you that this one in particular uh, had this flaw of not having a back branch here, and that made it uh, very unsightly, at least in my opinion. And if I wanted to have a perfect, perfect tree in the future, I was going to have to graft a branch here, or I was going to have to remove this one altogether. So I tried mm, grafting a little branch over here but i've got two nieces <laughs> yeah that's 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 all all you need to know yeah they're they're playful uh they're kids uh i scolded them <laughs> but still you know how these things are you know so uh, i'm trying not to pay too much attention to that anyway so we're just gonna perform an air layer here yeah uh, I'm going to place the camera down, uh, I've got everything at the ready here, and it's pretty much a standard procedure. I'm just going to clear the area of branches that are unnecessary. Well, this whole thing uh, technically will be unnecessary, but uh, what I'm trying to see if I, is if I can uh, perform more than once. So we have two or more um, junipers from that area. Yeah. But you know, the main, I'm just gonna place it here, let's see, or here, I'm not sure where, but I just want to be near the action, over here, let's see, yeah, no, sorry, I'm just gonna pause it, pause the video, and then I'll show you when it's properly placed, okay, so let's go in. Mm. So, standard procedure, we remove a circle of bark, we cut a ring, and uh, we remove the cambium. Mm. And with junipers. It's uh, real easy. You can just remove it with your fingers, but if you have a blade that's very sharp, well, it's even better. You just gotta be careful to, like I mentioned in the previous video with the cherry blossom, to remove all of the cam cambium. Otherwise, your pond will start healing instead of producing roots from that place. So, yeah, make sure you remove it. All of it. Yeah. And it's pretty easy. And like I, mentioned, like I mentioned in the cherry blossom video, uh, this is a, a technique that is very easy to perform. But for some reason, not a lot of people know about it. I've seen videos on TikTok or social media, maybe Instagram. Or whatnot people doing this and everyone is like oh wow how do you do that uh, that's amazing I'm gonna try this uh, I just figure people know about this yeah and so I think we got it all And so we come in, I've got my little rooting powder here. Just dab the place, the site, with a little bit, but an excessive amount. And then we grab a handful of moss, sphagnum moss. You can also add uh, peat moss. We got our moss here. You can also add peat moss and then we just cover the 
a cut of it, form a ball. And we firmly press it against, press the moss against the cut side. And there's the barkless ring like so like that <laughs> tabita brown yeah and um yeah it's it's malleable it should stay there no problem and i'm, I'm using cling film make sure you use a lot and it's just a matter of coming in and uh, wrapping the whole thing no, I'm going to come from this side. Come in from this side. Really. Oh no! Be careful not to remove it with your fingers. It's a good idea to leave it a bit, a bit open so that water and oxygen can get in, you know? I'm not talking about le letting huge gaps of the whole thing without cling film, but just a few, very little ones, so that air and oxygen can get in. And it's easy for you to water it that's uh, desirable and acceptable yeah so we finish you know it's easy it's got a high success rate just a matter of being a little patient because uh, you'll have to wait for a couple of months and it's a very good idea to wait for the spring wait for that period in which the tree is growing to perform this because that's when the tree will most likely produce roots yeah Just using a little bit of grafting tape here to secure the whole thing and now it's just a matter of waiting a waiting game yeah Let's see hmm this not too happy about that I'm just going to fix it uh, real quick and we'll move on to the next one, yeah? So there, we covered it, yeah? Uh, let's continue with the next one. So we have it over here. And this one is going to be a little bit different because uh, the air layering is because of this. This huge section of the trunk that it's uh, completely naked. Uh, it has no branches at all. So it doesn't have branches here or here at the front or here at the back. So what we're going to do is remove this whole thing, <laughs> remove the top and replace the main apex with this branch. Uh, yeah, because they were shaped before and because they were wired before, you can see that this is growing uh, completely, completely perpendicular to the main trunk. This is a formal upright, uh, but in the future, we're going to come in with a drill, you know, a Dremel tool. Uh, hollow this out and that'll be, make it easier to bend this into position you know to to bend it again into a 90 degrees angle so we're going to perform that here and the first thing that i'm going to do is remove this little branch right here because uh you know it's it's going to give us more room to perform the you know, the ring and then and the moss and 
all of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We come in, we remove this, and this being spring, this is something that we can easily root. If you want to see it, you can see uh, another one of my videos that's called, uh, that's titled how to take blue juniper cuttings. We perform this, same thing we did with that one over there, and this one, and then we'll call it a day, okay? Let's go. And we're done. Now we just gotta wait a couple of months and uh, we'll have more plants. <laughs> and hopefully this tree's structure will improve because of it. Yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted. If you have any comments, questions, doubts, anything, drop them down below. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.